Hi everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at an auto tester tool that I developed for Golftopia that helps me in my never ending quest to destroy bugs. I think this tool could be useful for other developers depending on the type of game they're making. It's found bugs I would have never been able to discover on my own. It basically simulates the worst possible player multiplied by a thousand, randomly raking their fingers across the keyboard as fast as they can, while still building something sort of functional according to the game's rules. So I'm going to turn this thing on and let's take a look at what it does. So you can see it's starting to build some structures here. It's opening and closing structures, it's deleting structures at random, it's opening and closing holes, it's changing order, it's starting tournaments, it spawns weeds, it spawns golfers, it sets up tubes, it fiddles with all the settings, it opens all the menus, it changes the sim speed, it does saving, it does loading, it pretty much pushes every system. So I've skipped ahead a bit here, this is just one minute of running the auto tester, so you can see that there's quite a bit of stuff going on. So you can see that it's spawned a whole bunch of pissed off golfers down here playing on the worst golf course of all time. But hey, I didn't make it, it was a robot. Some really poorly designed holes, but they're actually still functional. So this tool's really good at finding stability issues, save game problems, what happens when you try to build two things at the same time in the same frame while the game is loading, fading, and selecting an object while deleting it. What happens when you run a tournament with your manager while swapping holes and closing the clubhouse and deleting the bathroom that he's in, or whatever. This won't find logic bugs or tuning bugs, but this will find stability issues, like base system level issues that are easy to miss. It could take me a thousand years of, of hammering the game to find some of these problems that this tool can find in minutes. So now I've skipped ahead. This is only five minutes of running the auto tester and this thing hasn't spit out any errors. Like, look at this. This is more than I even allow the player to build. It's built multiple versions of things I only allow you to build once and the game still holds together. It's still stable. I mean, it's horrible. But I mean, if this golf course can work, chances are most player-built golf courses will also work and be relatively stable. I've also worked on a couple of AAA open world games, and while we didn't build an auto tester quite this elaborate, we did build auto testers that teleport the main character to all the spawn points that were in the game. And if the character couldn't load to that point, then we knew that that area was broken, and we knew what build it was and basically who to blame. The only problem with using an auto tester in a team based environment is nobody likes getting the email from the robot saying you broke the universe. It sort of became the villain of the office. And this was all driven from a tool that, that would just systematically check all of your content to make sure that the base functionality was still working. You know, it's great for finding null references or out of range indexes or crash bugs. I've plugged uh, memory leaks with this, all kinds of stuff. Now again, an auto tester like this won't work for absolutely every game, but if you have the ability to build a tool like this and let your game soak for an hour or two and it's still stable, that's time well spent. It took me maybe a day to put this tool together. So I strongly recommend using all that modern day computing power to help debug your game for you. It's been an invaluable tool for me. And yeah, it's just something I wanted to show off. I love my auto tester very much. Anyway, that's all I got today. Again, a content update is coming very, very, very soon. I just wanted to show off this cool little tool. But hang in there, and we'll see you next time.